Cancer, welcome to your Love Connection reading for the second half of August. This is Mary, and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new, welcome, welcome. If you're returning, thank you so much for coming back. Please do check the description box below. Any and all information that you need is down there. Personal reading information, social media links, all kinds of information. So please do go check that out. And before we get started here, just a quick shout out to all my new subscribers. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Those who have reached out for personal readings, thank you so much. And those who have blessed me with an energy exchange, such as in a tip or donation to the channel, is very much greatly, greatly appreciated. So thank you so much for all your support. It really means a lot to me, and I truly love to do this for you guys. So all your support really helps the channel. So thank you, thank you, thank you. So maybe we can help to grow this little tiny channel into something big, bright, and beautiful. So thank you, thank you. Okay, so for Cancer, second half of August already. Can you believe it? Second half of August, almost done summer or winter, depending where you are. I hope everybody's doing well. Okay, Cancer. This is a zodiac oracle, so we may get a sign, element, or planet energy. So whatever comes out here, if you find you don't resonate with this part, that's totally fine. It's just sort of like a little extra bonus. So the rest of the reading may be for you. If you clicked on the title, then there's something that drew you to this video. So there's probably something in this reading for you. Okay. Cancer. All right. Second half of August. What may some Cancerians be dealing with in love? Second half of August spirit, please. Thank you. Is that one? Okay. One card for Cancer. Let's see what we have. Sagittarius. So some of you may be dealing with a fire sign, a Saggy, or they could have it in their chart somewhere or something like that. So that could be just a special message for some of you. And if you're not dealing with the Sagittarius in any way, shape, or form, it's not in their chart. That's totally fine rest of the reading may be for you as with every reading you only take what resonates and you throw away the rest you switch the energies anytime you see uh fit so please keep that in mind all that information is below so if you read in the description box if you're new to tarot all that information on how to listen and understand and interpret these uh, messages are down there if you have any questions, my email is there. You can leave a comment. You can email me, whatever you like to do. Okay. So, I don't want a ton of emails, though, saying, doesn't resonate, blah, 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 blah. Or comments, I will delete them because it's general collective energy. So, it's not going to resonate with everybody. And don't take it personally, either. Okay. Cancer. Cancer. It's just energy energy that I'm picking up on at this moment. All right, Cancer. Let's get an overall love connection energy for you, Cancer, second half of August. Can we have an overall love connection energy for Cancer, second half of August, Spirit, please? Just one card. Love connection energy for Cancer, second half of August. All the decks are listed below if you are interested in that. They all have been pre-shuffle, cut, meditate on off camera, more shuffling on camera, so please be patient. Chemistry. There is a strong magnetic attraction here. So, okay, you and your person definitely here have a lot of chemistry. So when I think of chemistry, I always think of fire, fire signs. So if they're not Sagittarius, they could be an Aries or Leo. Okay. Wow. I was just going to say, Cancer, how is your energy, Cancer? And how is your person's energy? That's two. I only want one in this connection. There we go. All right. So for you, how you are feeling in this connection about this person right now, honeymoon, enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. And this doesn't actually mean um, going off on a honeymoon. This could mean just getting away together, even if it's just spending time alone at home or going on a little vacation or going camping or whatever here. Um, this is just going off together alone somewhere and spending some time together. Even if it's just going on a little date or something like that or actually going on vacation, getting away for the weekend, um, going out for the night because you see the night energy here with the moon. Um, 
So, yeah, you want to spend some time alone with this person, I feel. Okay, so your person is feeling finances and career. Financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. So they're feeling, I don't know, they're not feeling uh, financially stable right now for some reason. And for some reason, it's affecting your relationship, whether they're work, maybe they're working too much or working a lot of hours to try to catch up and um, get their finances in check. Or maybe they're looking for a new job or, I mean, it could be anything here. But something financially and career-wise is affecting them. That could be affecting your relationship. And it could be that they're working so much here that they're not spending a lot of time with you. And that's why you want to spend more time with them. So, I don't know. We'll see how this goes. So, let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. Religious factors. Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. So... I don't know what uh, it could be that you just have different um, you could be of different cultures nationalities different religious backgrounds different views on uh, spirituality and faith or either that it's just a strong um, strong connection here it's like almost like a spiritual connection as with you know religious factors as you see she's kind of looking up into the spiritual realm here so it could just be you know Maybe you are feeling this strong, strong connection like you've never had before, and it's like almost on a spiritual level. Could also be that. I don't know. So that could go any way, any way that resonates for you. Okay. So let's see, Cancer. What's going on with you, Cancer? What's going on? Cancer, let's clarify for Cancer. Spirit, please. Thank you so much. All right, so let's get a card for you while you are feeling this energy. I, I'm really feeling like. Um, right, let's do one for you and one for your person. Page of Swords. So, <laughs> so this is your energy here. Uh, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, doesn't have to be, it's just energy. So this is, you know, like watching them. Um, this is communication. So I feel like you really want to tell them, hey, you know, I'm starting to feel a little neglected over here. We need to spend more time together. This is speaking with truth and clarity, you know, using the sword here, cutting out any kind of energy that is not for the greatest good of this connection here. Um, open, honest, truthful communication here. The Page of Swords, standing up for you, standing up for the relationship here with this uh, communication. So you really want to, you know, have some truths told here in this connection. So the Two of Cups. So yeah, they do. We have this soulmate energy here, water energy here. And that's your energy, Cancer, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. So they do feel you are the one for them, not only with the strong chemistry, but love and emotions also with the Cups. It's a soulmate energy. So this is two people coming together as one. Divine union here of soulmates. So they do see you as their soulmate. Very loving, passionate connection here. So even though they're working hard or whatever they're doing here, that has to do with their finances and career. And it could be maybe they had to travel. Maybe they had to travel overseas um, for their work. But... Um, you may, you may want truth and clarity about this, but they do see you as their person, as their soulmate. Definitely here with the Two of Cups energy. So if you're wondering that, yes, they do see you as a soulmate. So let's clarify for you with this Page of Swords. So we have the Hanged Man. So you feel like Cancer Pisces. So you feel like things are in suspension right now. Nothing's moving. It's a standstill. Um... You know, nothing's really happening right now because they're working so much or whatever they're doing. It's almost like this relationship, this connection's just on a pause. I don't want to say a break, but just like kind of like a stagnant energy um, because there's not enough time being spent together, I'm feeling. So let's get another for them. Ace of Pentacles. It's, <laughs> wow. Wow. Uh, earth energy here, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, but it doesn't have to be. So this is monetary, career. So this is, and maybe they're working really hard over here so that they can build this foundation with you so you both can be secure. Because this is a brand new beginning with security, 
uh, stability, um, growth, expansion, uh, prosperity, abundance, building this firm found. And you see this down here, it looks like a heart. And here's the pentacle for stability. So they do have you in their heart, but they're also working on this stable foundation for the two of you so that you can grow and expand and be stable, have that prosperity, growth, wealth, and abundance going forward in the future for long term. Pentacles are long term. Um, pentacles come in and they usually don't leave. Uh, they don't have to be an earth sign. It's just the energy of stability, growth, expansion, and long term planning and being very practical. So I think they know for the two of you that they have to build this on a firm foundation for growth forward for the two of you to be stable. And that's why they're probably working very long hours, um, saving money, whatever here for the two of you. Wow. But you're feeling kind of, you know, <sighs> cold and lonely maybe and wanting to spend more time with them, feeling like they're not around. It's kind of like just suspended energy. All right, so let's see what the actual situation is now for you, Cancer. Oh, I wanted three, and I got three. All right, let's see. Let's see what's going on. So we have the King of Cups. That's your energy, Cancer Scorpio Pisces. So you definitely have a lot of love and emotions for this person, definitely. You know, um, king or queen doesn't matter. It's just energy, but that is, is, <laughs> that is, is, okay. <laughs> That is the energy of uh, Cancer Scorpio Pisces. So being very tuned and in touch with your emotions, you know how you feel about this person. You you love this person. You're in love with this person. A lot of deep feelings and emotions here. Um, standing in your water energy power here. And wanting this to come out of a stagnant energy here. So let's see. I feel like this is connected to them. We have the Six of Pentacles. So this is earth energy again. So this is, you know, pentacles again, earth, work, stability, uh, success and growth and expansion, monetary, material. And six of pentacles is about equal give and take and balance to me usually. So, you know, they are really trying to, they want this to be a very stable, sturdy, grounded, balanced relationship going forward and that's why they're spending so much time on finances and career because they don't want anything out of balance you know they want this new beginning to be very very firm sturdy stable and grounded and very balanced not having to worry about uh, material and monetary lack going forward in the future and connecting the two of you is the high priestess so this is cancer and pisces so this is very being very in tune, in touch uh, with yourself, your gut feeling, your higher knowing, listen to, listening to your gut and intuition, um, being very spiritually connected, you know, faith, spiritual, spirituality, um, your angels, your guides, you know, the whole universal realm, being very divinely connected here and really knowing and trusting your gut here. And it's connecting the two of you. But the high priestess knows a lot, but she doesn't share. And so that can be a quiet energy. So I feel like, um, again, nothing is being, I don't know, I really think you need communication here. Especially this is your energy with the Cancer Pisces. And you have the Page of Swords, which is about that open, honest, truthful communication. So if truths or clear communication isn't being had right now between the two of you, um, you know, Maybe you need to have some communication here. Um, and I think you both intuitively know this is a very strong um, connection here with the chemistry, the passion, the love, the emotions, the spiritual connection here. Um, you both know that. But in order to see the butterflies there to transform this connection into something more truthful and stable, maybe you really need to sit down and have a heart-to-heart -heart and truthful honest communication in some way. So let's clarify a few here. So we have the two of pentacles, again, earth energy again. And this is, you know, balancing and juggling things around. So they may be, may be juggling around, you know, work and, and you and whatever else they got going on in your life. And you're juggling around thoughts in your mind, like what's going on. 
you know, I don't really know, you know, um, I don't know if you're committed. And this can be any type of relationship, any time, any type of connection. So you don't have to be in a committed relationship. You don't have to be married. Uh, you could be dating. You could, uh, whatever your connection is, whoever you have in mind, um, this is who this reading is for. It's no specific type of relationship or connection just somebody you have in mind you feel like you have some sort of connection with whatever that may be so again with the two of pentacles energy you're juggling around all these thoughts things in your mind and it's really got you like in this nervous kind of back and forth energy and they're juggling around their career their finances you things in their life a lot of juggling going on back and forth between the two of you in your personal lives just a lot of that energy. Seven of Swords. So this is air energy. So this, you know, can speak of, um, usually it's about lies, deceit, un, you know, un, untrusted energy, uh, sneakiness, um, and that kind of energy. But it also can be about self-deceit in some way. So... Hmm. Maybe, you know, they're telling themselves that everything is fine between the two of you. I mean, maybe they're just taking for granted that you know that you're just, that you know that they're just concentrating on work and career for the two of you moving forward, but maybe there's not like open communication about that. So they're taking for granted that you are always going to be there and you know and understand when really you don't feel that way. So I, I, and the swords are always about um, the mind, communication, clarity, truth, and those sorts of things. So yeah, I think uh, definitely communication here. So let's get uh, advice for you, two cards for you, Cancer, in this connection. Let's get some advice for you in this connection, Cancer. And this love connection for cancer, second half of that one. One more. Thank you. Wow. Okay. So let's see what we have here. Wow. So we have the star and the magician. So we have two major arcana for your advice, cancer. The star is Aquarius. The magician is Gemini and Virgo, but it doesn't have to be. So in order to manifest this connection forward, Moving forward, the magician is always about manifesting, using all the tools that you have, your love, your compassion, your passion, your truth and honesty, and your stability, and making things, doing the work to make things happen. That is the magician energy. It's a new beginning. You know, you want, you manifest, you can manifest, but you have to do the work. And then the star here is, you know, you want this. This is a dream, a wish come true, fulfillment, healing energy. Uh, divinely guided energy as we have the high priestess here so I feel like you know or maybe you both know maybe you're that in touch that you both know this is a divinely guided connection here and I feel like they don't want to lose it and they don't want to lose um, any sort of stability with you that's why they're working so much or whatever the situation is here but you know healing this is healing energy this is Patience, balance, balance, energy, um, wishes and dreams, fulfillment coming true, divinely guided with the star being divinely guided. You know, the star's off in the distance, so, I mean, it may take more time here, but this can be manifested. So your advice is, you know, to heal this um, connection. Um, it is divinely guided. So manifest it. Truth, honesty passion, stability, and um, love and emotions can manifest this forward and heal this situation. If you, I mean, if you are on a break, I'm not really getting that energy, but um, this all can be healed and uh, move forward in a new beginning with the magician. Wow. Let's get some extra clarity here. Six of Wands. So there is the fire energy as in uh, Leo Sagittarius, and here is success, victory, 
Um, and it could be them wanting, you know, maybe they're working towards higher goals in their career. Maybe they're going for a promotion. Maybe they're, uh, maybe they could even be going to school and trying to get up the ladder of success here, whatever their situation is here. And maybe this is them wanting to be this very successful entrepreneur, business owner, uh, CEO, whatever here. But also this relationship, success, victory, getting the accolades, standing high up on that mountain and getting the um, getting that success and victory. So in all ways here, success and victory, the full, and there's the brand new start. So Aquarius energy. So you go from all the life lessons of the major arcana from the fool all the way to the world. The world closes and opens up a brand new beginning where you jump right in, take another new start, resetting at zero, knowing all your life lessons now and leaving what you don't need behind, only taking what you with you what you need and jumping and moving forward and leaping into this brand new beginning. So they may be going through uh, a brand new beginning here with their finances and career. Maybe they have to work hard to prove themselves, to get the accolades they deserve here. But after the fool comes the magician, which is the brand new beginning and manifesting that. So we're leaping right in here, whether it's them with their career, to, you know, taking this brand new start. Also in this relationship, whole new brand new beginning. So this could be a new relationship, jumping right in here into this relationship, maybe just now committing to one, one another or exclusively dating or whatever your situation is here you know, jumping right in like the full energy and manifesting this. All right, so let's see now what your possible outcome could be. Let's get one card for the possible outcome for Cancer for the end of August. Thank you. Well, wow, Cancer. <laughs> and there you have it. Brand new beginning. Brand new beginning. This is the Ace of Wands. That is that fire energy, Leo Sagittarius. So this is a brand new beginning. It can be in love. It can be in business. It can be projects, ideas, uh, entrepreneurship, uh, anything here. But it's exciting. It's creative. It's um, just a brand new, very passionate brand new beginning between the two of you. So I think this communication this healing, this uh, truthful, honest, open uh, clarity between the two of you and your situation will bring the two of you closer. You'll have a brand new beginning here with the fool, the magician, the ace of wands, being more passionate and loving towards one another. And then maybe refocusing on how they can move forward in their career or whatever they're doing that's really affecting their um finances and career. So let's get more clarity on this new beginning uh, for the outcome. The Four of Swords. So, ear energy here. So this is resting, contemplating, spending some time alone. Uh, could be the two of you. I mean, you did have honeymoon over here. Um, this is a solitude energy. Um, but it is an energy of healing, spending time alone, rejuvenating, uh, retreating, thinking, contemplating, healing. So, um, I don't know, just could be the two of you going off alone and healing this connection and having those open, honest, truthful communications and conversations and thinking, contemplating about your future and this whole dynamic and maybe things need to change or, you know, options, you know, what you can do here, expressing how you really feel, how you may be feeling hurt in some way over this situation. All right, so let's get another one. Ten of Cups. So, wow. So it's a happy home and family. Your energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Happy home and family. Joy, happiness, fulfillment in every single way. Um, loving fulfillment. Emotional fulfillment. Ten of Cup connection. Happy home and family life between the two of you. All right, let's get some bottom of the deck energy now. So we have the Nine of Wands. So this is, you know... And my cat is tapping me on the back. What's the matter? So, and there's a cat. Isn't that funny? He just came to me now, and here's the cat. Anyway, uh, no, 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 no. And well, there he is. He wants to say hi. That's Pumpkin. <laughs> okay, Pumpkin. <laughs> that was Pumpkin. He wanted to make an entrance. 
Okay, so I messed my cards up, Cancer. Sorry about that. <laughs> oh, pumpkin. All right. I'm trying to figure out how I had these cards now. Is a card missing? Oh, well. Um, is a card missing? Where'd it go? We have the Ace of Wands. It's gone. Did you take it with you, pumpkin? Well, I don't know where it went, but the Ace of Wands was here, and now it's gone. So, uh, probably fell on the floor, but I don't see it. I don't see it. <sighs> oh, there it is. It was on the bottom of the deck. I picked it up with the deck. Okay, so, sorry about that. Um, Nine of Wands energy now. Bottom of the deck energy. So this is a uh, wounded warrior. This is uh, the wounded soldier. Long, hard battle and fight. So maybe, you know, there have been some things in this relationship where there's been struggles. Um, where you've had to persevere through certain uh, situations in this connection. But never, never willing to give up on one another. All the connection. It's very passionate energy. So, you know, being determined to keep striving and fighting on in this connection. Knight of Cups. So there's uh, actually coming in. It could be your energy. You no, know, I had said over here, truthful, honest communication. So maybe you making moves towards this person, you know, very loving, compassionate energy and going to them and saying, you know, let's talk. Let's talk about things. I really need to talk to you about our situation. The sun. So here's the Leo energy. So here is that happiness, success, victory, uh, growth, expansion, happy home and family life enlightenment in every single way so exactly there with the sun everything positive very positive outcome here with the sun things transforming so yep I definitely feel like here and with the six of wands yep everything will be overcome truthful honest loving communication keep fighting and striving on in this connection okay cancer looks all positive I just see uh, some open honest communication is needed uh, in this connection all right so let's get some guidance extra guidance messages advice the you cancer and this love connection second half of August all right second half of August second half of August. What do we have for Cancer? Second half of August, please, Spirit. Thank you so much. Wow, it's too many. For Cancer, second half of August. Okay, let's take this one and that one. Let's see what we have. Ask your angels, and that goes with the High Priestess here is really, you know, thinking, contemplating, asking for guidance and help from above, your team, your angels, your guides. Ask them and help them to show you the way. Um, but you really need to pay attention to any thoughts that come in your mind. If you think you're making it up, usually it's not. It's usually coming from the divine source, the angels, guides around you. So you really need to uh, listen with your heart and your mind, your body, and your soul. And the situation will improve. Exactly. I do see here the situation will improve with this open, honest uh, communication between the two of you. Let's see if we can get one more. One more for Cancer. One more for Cancer. Yes, exactly. <laughs> yes, this situation will improve. Yes, you are divinely guided soulmates. Yes, they are really concentrating on their finances and career because they want this long-term stability with you. And yes, you don't have to worry because they they do consider you their true love, their soulmate. Um, so you don't have to worry about that. A year from now, so whatever that means for you, I don't know. You are ready. Romance. It's up to you in the near future. So it's up to you, romance. You're ready. And a year from now, I don't know what a year from now is. Um, I don't know. Maybe you'll be 
propose to a year from now. Maybe you'll be um, committed a year from now, living together a year from I, I don't know, something a year from now, whatever that is for you. Whatever that means for you. If you uh, wanted a time span about something here, whether it's marriage, engagement, um, being just committed to one another exclusively or whatever here, it's telling you a year from now. So whatever that means. And yes, and it will improve. And your angels are trying to tell you there's no need to worry. <clears throat> okay, uh, Cancer. If this didn't resonate for you, you could check the description box below for past readings. Um, I do consider them timeless, even though there are dates associated to them. That is just for um, sequential um, purposes, so people know, you know when the last one was released. So it's the only reason why I put a date on them. And uh, best of luck to you in your situation here. Wish you know, wishing you the best. And if you do like how I read, you like my style, please do like, share, subscribe, and comment. It would really mean a lot. My your support would really mean a lot to me. I do love to read the comments. And if you subscribe, don't forget to hit the bell. You'll be notified when I post new readings. I do bi-weekly general and love for all the signs, so don't miss out on that. And sending you lots of luck here, many light, love, and blessings. And as I always, always say with my channel, as with the sun energy here, is to always, always shine your light.